Look, Henry, you knew what the score was going in. I told you there'd be other vacuums. Look, don't get jealous. I can't live with just one. Oh, yeah, we'll take that smirk off your face. Look, look, you're the only vacuum I've got that's got a smile. All right. I've got to... Oh, no, this sh I've got to make a video. No, just watch, but keep it buttoned. <clears throat> right. I'll start, I'll start from the top. Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Well today it's another unboxing, another big ominous brown box that absolutely stinks to high heaven of cigarette smoke. I was going to say it's a filthy habit, but I won't. I'll say it's a deadly habit. But I wish people who smoke wouldn't smoke around the vacuum cleaners that they've sent me. Now I got this for an absolute bargain and I can't remember how much it was. It was either £36 or £39. Considering these cost well over £400, I think that was the deal of the day for me, or the deal of the month. Whether this turns out to be how it's described, we will soon find out. It's a Diversi, Johnson Diversi Ensign SM2. Now, if you check back on my channel, I did unbox another Johnson Diversi vacuum cleaner that turned out to be faulty. I still got it and it needs fixing, but it was described as new. As this has been described, and I don't know what that noise is going on, but I do apologise. I think they know when I'm about to make a video around here because they start powering up their whatever. Anyway, I'll, I'll carry on regardless. This is supposed to be brand new and unused. It's a Diversi Ensign SM2. Unlike the other Diversi machine I unboxed, it's got a wide cleaning path and it should have manual height control. That was what was wrong with my other machine. The height control didn't work. Anyway, according to the sticker on the side, the brush width is 37 centimeters. Manual brush height adjustment, yay. 1300 watt max high performance motor, guaranteed belts, uh, security shot down at blockages. What? What does that mean? It says security shot down at blockages. Well, I don't know what that means. High performance filter system with S class filtration, bypass airflow valve for motor protection, I think that'll be. Practical onboard accessories, telescopic open tube with something or other. Anyway, it's model 952, no, 9592LE. Made in Germany by, of course, Sibo. <clears throat> so I think the reason I got this cheap, two reasons. The seller didn't mention anything to do with Sibo in the listing, so people have never heard of Johnson Diversity. Well, not many people. And they'll think, what's that? Plus the fact the seller just illustrated it in its box looking rather tatty, they didn't even bother taking it out of the box, so the seller's laziness was my bargain. Anyway, I've, I've been given some extra packaging. Here it is, it all looks, so far, it looks okay. I do like the this sort of dark grey, and I believe it's got orange highlights as a highlight colour. Okay then. Oops, it really does smell of cigarettes. Now, the first thing to look at, whoops, it's got a nice silver hose. Ooh, it does feel different. It does feel different to the other SIBOs I've had. I'm going to sniff the hose. Ooh, that does smell a bit iffy. It doesn't smell like it's been used, but it, the smoke, smoke gets everywhere. Well, looking inside, I can't, you won't be able to see, but I can't, I can't detect any sign. Oh, oh I was going to say. I was going to say I can't detect any sign of use. I don't know, it looks a bit, I don't think you'll be able to see in there, but it does look a bit odd in there. Well, let's carry on regardless. Oh, that's the wrong end, is it? No, that goes in that way. That goes in there. Right, that's, so that's the wand and the quick, that's the quick release wand and hose more or less the same as you get on the SIBO 
X series uprights. Oh, it's got that colour flex, is it? Ooh, it's got orange flex. Well, I suppose it goes with the orange highlights. Okay. Let's, hmm. I'll put it down this way, actually. We can still see it, can't we? And slide it out. This is the, um, well, slide it. Oh, God, I don't want to break that. Thank you. Slide out the bag housing. Try not to break any more of the... Oh, you basket. Oh, no, that's ruined it. Ugh! I would have thought that would have done that. I suppose I can get another one. It doesn't matter as far as the machine. He's put tape. He's put sanitate, and it's not new. Well, well, it is. It's a bit... It'll polish out. But the so-and-so has put tape on it. I took the tape off, not thinking, and it's taken some of the picture off. Anyway, I should hopefully be able to buy that part on its own because that's ruined it for me now. A normal person wouldn't be bothered about that, but I'm not a normal, normal person. And I'm just smelling. Obviously, I'm not normal. I'm giving this a sniff. There's no sign of... Now, there is this tiny... I don't know if it is dust. I mean, if this gets dirty, they take an age to clean. So I don't think it's been used. It all looks pretty clean inside. Oh, I'm just annoyed by that piece of tape. Well, it's a piece of tape on the bottom. It doesn't matter about that bit. No, it does look. It does look unused. Even the crevice tool is still in the plastic, as how it should be. Yes, and there's the all-purpose nozzle. So that's the only two cleaning tools you get with this particular, I'm going to say SIBO because basically it's a SIBO. A SIBO in all but name just says diversity on it. I mean, you know, there's, there's little sort of scuffing on this, but nothing, a bit of polish. I'm a bit, oh, I'm really annoyed by that. I'm surprised that came off actually. But I will see about, hopefully, just get, hopefully just be able to buy that separately. Okay, that's that bit. Ah, uh, good. We've got the instructions. There's the clean head. So it's very like, actually, my um, professional G upright. But it's just a wider head. It's basically, yes, it's just a wider head version of the professional G. Again, I'm, I'm still smelling. Yep, it's new. There's no way that that just needs a bit of a, a wipe. There's no way that that has seen any dirt. Look at that. Oh, it's a single. Hmm. That, that's surprising. I wasn't, well, I wasn't really sure what it would be like, but it's a single long brush roll. On the SIBO X5 I had, the brush roll was in two sections. But on this one, you've just got one. Oh, they're very good brush rolls, these. Very stiff brushes. And look at the design of that. Agitator. Look at the design of those brushes, how they spiral. Brilliant. And there's your little trap door that gets a blockage. Pretty small trap door. Nice metal plate on the front. And, ooh, this is what I like to see. Manual height control. So yes, it is. It's the same colouring and everything. Exactly the same, more or less, as my Professional G, apart from my Professional G finishes about here. I don't know if that looks a bit different. That, that bit looks, so I'd have to check. 
I think that looks different. Anyway, that, so that's your exhaust. I, mu I must get some of those. I don't seem to. I must ring Sebo. That's the same filter as the G machine takes. So, yes, that is fine and dandy, obviously. We don't know if the machine works yet. Here's the handle. The handle doesn't look like it's ever been attached to the machine because the first time you attach it to the machine, it normally gets marked at the bottom. You can't see it, obviously, but when you remove it, you can see they always mark. Again, we've got the nice little orange highlight colour. And, unusually, unusually in a domestic vacuum, but not quite so unusual in a commercial vacuum, because this is a commercial vacuum. And they make the cables orange so they can be seen better to stop people tripping over them. Obviously, black cable is harder to see. So that is why the majority, oh look, we've even got Spare bags, I'll use them up, but I tend to use the synthetic bags now that Sebo make. Okay, well, apart from, unfortunately, the little bag symbol coming off the door release catch, apart from that, and apart from the fact it does need a little bit of a buff up, so far, so good. But of course we need to assemble, look I've made a mess, all this polystyrene, yeah, all this polystyrene and bits and pieces on the floor, oh look at that, what am I going to do about that, look it's snowing, Whee! oh if only I had a vacuum, the first demo will be on this dirt, anyway that'll be easy won't it, let's just, oh it's an ans it's an Ansom cleaner, there we go, Right, so let's assemble this bad boy. So, not much assembly to do. There's the hose, there's the handle, there's the bag container thingy-majiggy. Right, let's put this together. So, the first thing that I need to do is attach the bag unit. I'll just take the bag door off, I think I always find it easier. I just need to put this in here, make sure that this little bit that's sticking up is going to go into that little hole there and the, these bits obviously go into here. So it's just a case of lining it up carefully, hopefully. Come on, that's it. Mm, that's it, don't force it. Make sure that that bit's going in the right that's it, that's in the right place. So before I push down, which I'm going to do now, just jiggle it until it clicks. There we go. A little click, but it has clicked. And at any point, if I want to remove the bag housing, I can just press that somehow. Yes, press it some way or other, and it'll lift off. There's the filter. So basically, this is uses mostly well, it uses the same filter, this, the, this filter and the bags, as the X-Series. It differs, of course, with the brush roll and the exhaust filter, obviously, is different. There we go. There's that done. Oh, that's annoyed me. That's annoyed me. Apart from that, if it works, I'm very pleased. Okay, now I need to attach the handle. So I just need to put the handle in, just to push, push it down until you can't push no more, and then press that down there. That secures the handle in place. And the last thing to do is pop the wand in this side, making sure it clicks down into that little sticky up bit. That's it. And then clip the hose onto the other end. Right, it's fully assembled. I'm going to give it a bit of a, a wipe and a polish. Just a quick wipe over. Then I'm going to clear up the mess that it's made being unboxed. So if this works, I'm going to be very pleased. Now, 
apart from that bit, which uh, makes me scream, the fact that if there wasn't any tape put on there, there was no need to put tape on there, that would have been fine. I mean, unless... No, I haven't got a steady hand, I can't draw it in. But fortunately, everything is supplied. I've got all the instructions and everything, and I've also got a part list. And if I can just zoom in or show you, it's hard to see, where is it? Here's the back door, and it's showing you all the bits, what item, it's number, it's item number 19. Can you see? Am I showing you the right bit? Anyway, it's there, 19. Hopefully I'll be able to get that part on its own. It's still a, it's still a model you can buy, I'm sure. I've seen it on websites, so hopefully I'll be able to get that part for a few pounds. It's, you know, it's worth it for me, just for peace of mind. So, here's the cable. So, as I say, as I say, Ashley, as I say, Ashley, I'm going to... Um, give it a bit of a buff, and then, fingers crossed everybody, let's hope this particular ensign works. Well, I've cleared the decks, I've made some space, and I'm about to turn on my new ensign SM2 commercial bagged upright vacuum cleaner. Branded Diversi, but manufactured by Seagor. Right, let's, well it'll pick all this up, if you can just about see the little bits of polystyrene from the packaging, as long as it works, so fingers crossed. vacuum cleaner that is fantastic it works it doesn't smell well it just smells of lovely new vacuum it doesn't smell of cigarettes like the box did oh no there's a little bit I've missed or it's fallen out let me get that for you brilliant really chuffed chuffed to little mint balls with the Enzyme. Fantastic. That's the result. Bargain of the year so far. Here it is. The brush roll. Let's see it spinning. It'll just disappear. Well, it didn't quite disappear, but oh, isn't that a lovely sounding vacuum cleaner? Absolutely brilliant. Really pleased with my new Ensign SM1. Here's a tip for any of you selling on eBay. If you want to get top dollar for your vacuums, do not list them without showing the machine out of the box. Don't list them in the box and not even in the box very well. It was just sort of like it looked like it had been thrown in the box. You hardly saw any of the cleaner. There was a link to another website that showed the cleaner in full, but the link wasn't clickable. You'd have you'd have to cut and paste it, and which I did do. I knew what I was getting. I believe somebody else knew. So if it's uh, any of you who know me on Facebook or Vacuumland, I'm sorry, but I wanted it. I was prepared to pay 150 odd for that, but I got it for. It's either 36 or 39. Anyway, it was an absolute bargain, even with the postage. Absolute bargain. I'll be uh, doing some full demos of this, of course. I will be using this machine. If I've got time, I'll do it here. I'm not at home. I'm in my mum's house. She's got larger rooms. So the wider cleaning path will make short work of her carpets. That's it for now from the... Newly unboxed Ensign SM2 and Henry off camera 
looking daggers at my new acquisition. It's goodbye. Please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.